Hi there. Um, today's topic is um, I wanted to uh, talk about uh, who is our real enemy in our in this lifetime. Okay, um, because um, what's happening in when when um, when people are weary and tired, not exhaustion of like body, you know, physical uh, body life, right? If they're weary and tired and um, they're, they're really, there's no other way for, you know, somebody has to help that person um, to get out and to see light, right? Because um, that person is um, already, the, de the demon has got gotten to that person already. Okay, so I guess that answer the question. So usually they will blame God. They, that's the first um, question. That's the first um, reaction that human being because of that feeling, right? They blame uh, God. God, what, you know, why have you? And even Jesus has said um, that also reflects that he, as a human being, that's the nature of us being hurt, being physically hurt. And on all that re uh, uh, feeling of uh, dreadness, right? So they'll ask God, right? There's, um, you know, uh, um, I live uh, in Toronto, Canada, but I'm from the Philippines. So sometimes I follow people uh, most mostly like if they're like my age, my generation. So I still follow, right? And there's this actress that says that, you know, things that happened to her and then at uh, the darkest times of her life and she questioned god she said why me right and then she uh, went uh, she went back um how did she feel that she rebuttaled back um she counts her back and and apologized and said why not <laughs> who are you right but she didn't say that or nobody said that to her because she's a really a good person and a good um actress but she said um you know everyone is it doesn't matter if you are the son you know of uh, of the president of the United States, right? It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, we're all equally, um, you know, that you know. Because what she's seen saying, because this is everyone. This is not only her. This is the nature of human being, right? Even a child when they're hurt, this is all the nature of kids too. They blame their parents right away. They they do all the failure. That they that happened to their life, easy to blame mommy and daddy, because they didn't raise me well. I you know I didn't have a proper childhood. I so many excuses in life. I didn't have you know I didn't have either. So many people either. You know there's no excuse. You know that's the, in Christian right. There's no excuse. It does not matter. I have a good friend and she always makes you no know, excuse. When I tell her like. Oh, I'm in pain. Like, you know, every time I have my red flag, I'm always like a baby. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. But it's true. There is no excuse, right? Okay, so when we're hurt, um, things happen to us um, that that's not God doing. Okay, keep in mind, he's not the enemy here. Before you came down here to earth, before he created you, before he created the earth itself, there's all there's a law in place already because why because that is the natural law you disobey you disobey them you um you um, um neglect them regardless neglect them or you didn't know about them but you did this that's still the law and there's still going to be a kickback on you like a boomerang or a karma on you god didn't do that to you right Keep in mind, say, um, I'm just going to pick a, a, a silly example because I don't like to, you know, and I don't want people bombarding. Oh, you said that, you know, I'm trying to be careful here. So let's, I don't want to use example, right? I don't want to, I don't really, I'm not the type who put people down. Uh, our aim is to uplift people. So let's say um, a rich woman who, um, who likes to, to have um, everything that she sees beautiful, okay? Because she's beautiful, she's smart, um, and she's all that, whatever, whatever in that um, sense of you know the world um, dictates of, of her being beautiful. Um, so she there's like a land uh, of ants, 
that it's not really affecting her. It's like out of her sight, out of her way. But she's sleeping upstairs in a nice, like a, almost a mansion. It's uh, far back, but it's bugging her, right? So she said she wants to put some flowers and then kill all those ants. And, you know, I mean, you know, something like that, right? I mean, you don't need to kill a lot like those. Like, I know they're pests, but for your own um, satisfaction. And there will have some consequences of that. I don't know, right? But I'm just picking that as an example because I use that. Because we don't need to do that for us to, like, what, who are you? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you could. If you you know that's your choice but you know think about it weigh it you will I'm just saying who are you in the sense that you will have a consequence it is a matter of who you are the law applies to you that's my point right and God has no uh, on that you know that's was placed right when he created that that's in place already so if you want that's why prayers are specifics right Right? For safety and me, I pray for general issues, safety and health for my kids. But I do specific as well, right? And we do specific to save us, right? And forgive us and all those specifics that we've done, right? That is, you know, sometimes uh, of ignorance, but especially me, I'm so ignorant of things like, oh my God, I didn't know that. And, it, you know, and, and it's true because I live my life, I cocoon myself in just a way that I'm, I'm not, um, I like uh, being home um, and I like to I don't really like to um, oh, how to call it not all the time but I like to be in the city I like uh, you know I like the nature more and I like to be in a lot of crowd at times but not all the time right I like my own um, you know I have my own sanctuary I home my, my own room um, if I, uh, you know, if, if I'll be blessed, I'll have my own little altar there, my own space, everything, and it's my own, right? I don't want anybody it, unless they're going to pray, right? So I'm telling you like that. It's something that I w would want. But, um, you know, in Canada, um, I guess I'll try to go on a bit. It's impossible. I'm going to um, because sometimes I go over and it's hard to uh, put it. I don't like to edit. I try to edit. It's just not my thing. It's giving me headache and then you know, I'm, I'm done for the day and I have responsibilities. Um, so I'm trying to avoid m uh, much electronics and editing will not work for me unless you know somebody is really subscribing and liking and then I could um, do more. But I have a career also, right? Um, and I have children, so right. <laughs> But I would like to give all the things that I know uh, so that other people can know um, it's my 10% uh, right now because um, our purpose in life is to bring um, people into the light, bring um, back those people um, to God, right? Um, especially the unbelievers, right? They, they don't believe in God, like, um, yet they believe in a lot of things. And then they, you know, they blame parents, like I said, God, they blame everybody but themselves. You're the one who's occurring those consequences, right? And also your parents, right? Because of like what, it, it's not what they intended to do. It's because their life has also been in that cycle. Therefore, you are also that. Because it says in the Bible, if you're, if you're committing sin, you're, you're uh, up to, I heard when I was young, 10th generation, but maybe that's too cruel. Maybe that's the old Moses law. I, it says, um, I read in a book derived from the Bible that it's up to fourth generation. So my great, great granddaughter, so whatever my sin now, my poor, that was great, great dad, daughter and grandson is going to pay for it. And that is the truth. I didn't do, I didn't do it this way. Like the body, sometimes you question, oh my God, like it's complex, very complex, but it's amazing com complexity, you know, and it's integrated and us too. The, he created this and he planned this. He really, really planned this ahead. Um, he didn't just, you know, he, he think of this very well. He created um, us in his image. That's why no matter how bad you are, no matter how 
you you have a goodness in you because that's God man because he created you out of uh, from the end you just have to go back to him that's why you you have to be born again so I just want to pinpoint that the true enemy in this life and whatever this virus is happening to this is not God's doing again okay this is you know this is the demon even if okay I'm gonna give you an example let's say um, forgive me I'm just making a scenario here that will be a knowledge that be easy uh, to understand okay so a scenario here let's say um, God um, wrath, God's wrath for those who's really disobeyed who's gone really bad and it's there's no other way but we need to destroy otherwise they're gonna like, like a tomato they're just gonna um, fill um, infiltrate um, the good ones um, there's a tendency there's a higher risk right so he's he has uh, no choice just like a mother like I have to punish I have no choice I have to punish her otherwise she's gonna be doing going on like it's nothing wrong that she did nothing wrong and she's gonna infiltrate her other sisters right so me when I think I target my um, my uh, um, eldest because she's more knowledgeable she's more she doesn't understand that but once she has a kid she'll understand but I have to target her because that's my parenting style <laughs> and then she goes but I'm not gonna focus I'm not gonna talk about that so um so these people are creating those scenarios for themselves keep in mind um, the human being even God and Jesus is not the enemy here right so they created that to themselves now they're in under God's wrath even that that's not God even if he has to do that that's not God's thing too it has to happen because you brought that upon yourselves right you know there's a movie too I don't know it's just a random movie I watched they, um, they all got stuck in the elevator and they all have some some life stories and it, it led them to there so it's like a you know it, it you know it's more of like how did you get there is the question right and so do not blame do not blame God do not blame human and do not blame God I should say it that way because think about it right um, even a lot of people think too humans behavior they you know they're, they're not really the enemy when your kids are acting up they're being bad to you when your spouse is acting up they're being bad to you I'm gonna use those two words when your parents are acting up they're being bad to you when your brothers and sister in blood are acting up and they're being bad to you and your real uh, your real uh, your, your brothers and sisters in Christ even Christians they, if they're acting up and being you know it, these are not the enemies keep in mind so is God so is God these people are just victims of the demon the demons always devouring keep in mind right even in our sleep comes to you in your sleep and makes you believe such and such and then you get thrown. Um, watch my video about the sin because you get you know um, you get into a swirl of sin because imagine a child right that's how you get to that place you sin you're so embarrassed to face your your parents don't you no this is this is just based on simplicity I'm trying to simplify things here so for, for you to understand I'm a sinner I'm not even a preacher I'm a sinner I'm you're a sinner too um, I'm not a I'm not a preacher um, I'm not a teacher but I'm planning um, to teach if I can't do um, a manual therapy I need to do something to survive so I will I'm gonna try to teach online and um, and a, a writer is what my um, my passion and this way I could all if this is a, um, a channel where or a medium where I can um, give my 10% while I'm not working I'm not working right now um, so I'm home most of the 